Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing very well. In this video, what we're simply going to do is to design a starting 11 fixtures design inside of Canva for all your football games you want to be promoted. Okay, and everything is going to be designed inside of Canva from scratch. Now, before we get into it, I just want to, you know, just to say, if you are in love with Canva tutorials, Canva design tutorials, then please subscribe and like this video. Okay, because this channel is all about Canva and um, yeah. Without any further ado, let's dive straight into Canva and let's get started. All right, so here we are in Canva and actually, before we actually get started, I just want to pass this information out that with this design we are about to create, make sure that if you're going to be selling this as a template, do not use any professional footballer in the design, okay? Just go with a stock photo, you know, and it should be a, a footballer or anything you want to use, okay? But if it's just for practicing sake, then yes, you can use a professional footballer. So just take note of that because I don't want copyright and intellectual property issues to be hitting you, okay? So I just wanted to share that with you anyway. So the first thing you're simply going to do is to come here to create okay and make sure you're searching for the instagram post which is a four by five then 80 by 13 50 okay so once you click on it you should see this kind of blank canvas and with the same design you can also use it for you know, something like this i'm going to be teaching you everything from scratch now the first thing you're going to do is to press r on the keyboard to add this beautiful blank shape okay inside of canva and we'll duplicate it okay so we'll duplicate it and bring the second one here. Now make sure the colors you're using for your design are colors of the football team. So I'm using Chelsea. By now you should know I'm a Chelsea fan if you've been following this tutorial for, or I've been following my tutorials for a very long time. So first of all, click on the first one and this one should be a lighter version of that color. So I'll choose this blue. And if you want to use the same colors I'm using, this is the color code 1800AD, okay? And I'll use a darker blue for this shape. So I'll come back to colors and I'll use a second color. So you can see this is a darker blue. And this dark blue is also 1D005E. Okay, so that is it. Now we'll make sure that they are together and to avoid any white, you know, space because the background is originally white, right? So now that we've done this, the next thing we want to do is to press R on our keyboard okay now we don't want to use this shape so we're going to transform the shape so come to edit and you should see a lot of shapes in here make sure you are coming to the flow chart shapes okay and just go through you should see is it i don't know the name of the shape oh my god but just make sure you're finding this shape okay <laughs> i've forgotten in fact i need to go back to school so we we'll just you know make sure you're turning off the corner rounding to zero and just rotate it to negative 90 degrees okay once you do that, you can increase the length according to your taste. And with the width, you can also do the same to it. Okay, so something like this should be fine with me. Now select all of them and just bring them in a little bit. Now, after we've done that, the next thing we'll just do is to duplicate the shape and we'll rotate it, you know, to the opposite side. So we have, I think, zero. Or we just need 90 degrees. Okay, so if you're struggling just like I'm struggling, just come to position and set it to 90. Okay, then you can see very easy and very simple. I think it's too wide, so I'll just bring them in together like this. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is you can duplicate this. Okay, just move it here. I will transform this to, uh, is it a kite? Yeah. Oh my god, no, a diamond shape. What did I say? A kite. So a diamond shape like this and would we'll also reduce the side, but make sure it's fitting. Okay. So it should be something like this. And we'll bring this also here. And we'll bring this down. Okay. Then these two, we can just bring them down to something like this. In fact, just make sure everything is covering so that you can have something beautiful. Okay. So this is what we have at the moment. Now, what we are simply going to do is we are going to be adjusting the colors just so that we can have like a 3D view to it, okay? Yeah, so the first thing we want to take note of is that we want to create a, a light direction where the light is coming from, okay? Just so that we can adjust colors and gradients to that effect, okay? So I'll just put an arrow here and you can just do the same just to always remind you that this is where the light is coming from. That's why the shape is actually lighter, okay? So... 
I'll just put this arrow, you know, here. Okay, that the light is coming from this area. So it automatically means that the light is would hit directly to this wall if it's facing the light. So this side would be a bit darker. Okay, so we can just choose the dark color, you know, of the shape here. And here we can choose the light one. Okay, nice. Then for the top, we can also choose the light um color for it, the lighter blue color for it. Now, this is looking too plain, even though we are doing something, but it's actually looking too plain. So we are going to simply add some gradient, okay, to it. So click on this second shape over here, come to color, okay. So, so come to color and click on add new color. It should be the same color, then come to gradient, all right. So when you choose gradient, you can now set the gradient, you know, just choose the linear gradient style. Okay, then all we are just going to do is to swap the colors and make this one darker. Okay, so we'll make this one darker so that it's like a dark blue to a light blue. Do you get it? So that's something like this. Then for this one also, we want to do the same. So we'll come back to the color and apply the same gradient to it. Okay, and you can see what we have at the moment, what we've been able to create. But I, I want to make it very visible. So I'll just come here and adjust the colors more. So that part of it, I'm just going to make it darker. Okay, so that you know, we can actually see the effect. Now, let me just make sure my shape is looking good. Okay, so something like this, nice one. It should be fine. Now, this is what we have at the moment. Now, the next thing I want you to do is to duplicate, you know, this shape, okay? And change the color to the same color we have over here, which is the lighter blue. Oh, what did I do? Okay, so to the lighter blue, okay? Then I'm not sure I'm using the correct color. Okay, that's the correct color. Then we'll just change the shape to a triangle. Okay, so any triangle of your choice. You can see how my triangle is looking. What I want to do is to just place it over here. Okay, first of all, let me even make it black so that it's visible. Then after we change the color back. Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, then duplicate it and rotate it. Okay, so you rotate it to 90 and you position it over here. Okay, so this is what we have at the moment. Now, what we can simply do is to change the color, so this can take the dark blue, you know, it should match the color over here. So we'll take this and this one will take the lighter blue. And you see what we have. Everything is matching and it will make sense very soon. Now, this is where we are going to bring our footballer into the picture. Okay. So what you can simply do is I have mine over here. So you can just go on the internet. In fact, let me just show you before some of you come to say that I didn't show you. So what I usually do is I go on Instagram. Okay, so Instagram and I will just go to the Chelsea Football Club. Okay, so I'll just search for Chelsea and usually they have a lot of like beautiful images. Okay, so I'll just go through and find, you know, an image I can use. So for example, there's an image I can actually use. Okay, so you can take a screenshot or you can download it. I used to have an extension, but I changed my system. So, you know, at the moment I don't have it. But if you can screenshot the screenshot, if you have a way to download it, just download it. Or you can just go to Google. Okay, so you can just say google.com and you can search for any footballer. So if you want to use Endo Fernandez, okay, just say Endo, Enzo Fernandez. Okay, so you can just select him, go to images, and you should see a lot of images from him, but make sure the images you're using are maybe full photos, okay? Or if you want to have them kneeling down, something like this, you can also use that as well, okay? So just take note of that. Now, the other thing you need to do is that to make sure you see the tools, okay? And the size, choose large, just to make sure that any photo you get is a high quality image, okay? That's all I wanted to show you. Now. I'm just going to bring in my, my footballer. So this is the photo I want to be working with, okay? So I can remove the background and it should remove beautifully. All right, then we'll just make sure it's sizable. We'll place it here and we'll just have to make sure that these two shapes are before the image. So I can select these two shapes, right click, come to layer, and I'll just say bring to front. Okay, you can see what we have at the moment, which makes it look realistic. So this is what we have. Or you can just, you know, 
I arranged it nicely, but for me, I think I want it to be like somewhere here that is not touching what we have at the top. So something like this is beautiful. Okay. Now, the other thing we would want to do is first of all, let's add our text. Then we come to the image. At least we are getting somewhere. So with the text, press T on the keyboard and we are just going to use the horizon text. Okay. And all we just see is the start. And, okay. So just say starting then we'll just place it here and we can increase the size okay then you can duplicate it and we'll say the 11 which is the xi okay so xi then we'll increase the size of it and place it right on top and we're going to change the color of this to the darker blue we have here then make sure the starting is on top of the xi okay so you can just come to layer come to bring to front okay so we have something like that and maybe i can just increase this a little bit and um, also this a little bit so this is what we currently have okay yeah so let's just make sure it's looking good enough now the next thing we are just going to do is to list all the players but before that let me just push this here a little bit okay so that i can have enough space so we are just going to list all the football players over here i'm not going to i'm just going to copy and paste because Having to do it manually is going to take a lot of time. So um, I'll just snap my fingers. Okay, so we have it <clears throat> over here. Everything has been arranged beautifully for us. So for this one, I can just select everything over here and I can bring it to the center and I'll just center the text. Okay, then we'll come to the position and just center it. So you can come and say vertically. We'll just say center and this is what we currently have. Okay, so something beautiful. Now, the next thing we can do is that we can add the logos, you know, who are they playing with, who is Chelsea playing with, you know, like more information. So I have the Chelsea logo over here. Just in case you do not know how to get them, this is what you have to do. Come to apps, okay, in apps, search for brand fetch. Okay, so brand fetch, and you should see this beautiful B. Once you click on it, you should be able to find any, you know, football teams logo or whatever at all. You will find it over here. So let's say I want the Premier League. So I will just search for Premier and you can see Premier League. And I can just select any of the ones I want. So the white is what I want. And you can see we have it over here. Beautiful. Okay. And let's assume, I don't know who Chelsea is playing next. Um, let me just quickly, let's check, you know. So Premier League, okay, and we'll see who Chelsea is playing next. So the full match schedule, Liverpool. Okay, so Chelsea is playing Liverpool. So I can just come here and just search for Liverpool. And we just come in here. I'll just choose the Liverpool you know, logo. We'll place it here and just arrange it nicely. All right, so that it looks good. Now it's not loading, so I'll just refresh because I don't know why. Okay, so for some reason, the Liverpool logo is not, you know, it's not loading up. So I'll just search for another one and I would say Brighton. Okay, so the Brighton and who something, something. So we'll just select it and this is what we have. I will just delete the Liverpool one. I don't know why it's not loading. Okay, then we just place it here and we'll reduce the size, okay, as the next fixture. So something like this, you can see how it's looking very beautiful so now that we have that we can just also add the date and time and everything so for the date if the date is you know today we'll just say 0 to october okay october 2025 all right then we'll just increase the size and reduce it no not to increase the size just to stretch it up and reduce it and the stadium i would say they would play in the stanford bridge or stanford bridge okay so Stan stanford bridge so this is what we currently have so i'll just select all of this and move it to the top you know just to make sure that everything is looking good now i want to add a little bit of texture okay to the background to the side so let's come to element and we'll just search for texture okay and you can just choose any of them that works for you so i'll just place this over here and i would just put this here then we'll come to transparency and reduce the transparency okay so now that we reduce the transparency we we'll also send it all the way to the back okay then with this image let's come back to this image to finalize things okay so what we can simply do is that we can create a shadow. So to add the shadow, what we can do is that 
Let's duplicate this. Okay. I will place it over here. Then come to edit. Okay. In edit, make sure you're searching for dual tone. It's really been longer used dual tone. Okay, so just come to custom, you know, come to highlight, make it black. Shadows, also black. Okay. Then we would come into edit again. Then search for blur. Come to whole image and increase the intensity. Okay. So something like this to create a shadow. All right. Then we'll just place the shadow over here. Then just make, make sure it's cropped and behind the image. So we'll send it all the way behind and we'll also reduce the transparency of it. Okay, so this is what we have at the moment. And uh, just to make it look realistic. So make sure everything is looking beautiful and you can see what we've been able to, to create. I think I like it. I like it. I like it. What do you think about it? So the other thing you can do if you want to, is to, you know, add some smoke behind him and all that. It's just an optional thing if you want to. But I'm just showing you. For me personally, it's not something I think I'd want to do. But, you know, some of you just like to add more drama into your design. So I'm just going to show you. So, for example, if you want something like this, it can just be behind him. And you can also make it blue. Okay. To make it blue, you just have to play with the temperature. Okay. And you can see we've been able to change the color, just that it's not too visible. So that's how you can go about it, you know, if you want. But for me, I don't think it's something I would want to be working with. This is what I wanted to teach you how to create in Canva. And I hope you actually enjoyed it. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Did you find it easy? Was it difficult? You know, yeah, let me just know. And um, also, if you are interested in upgrading to Canva Pro for free, I have a link in the description box below that can help you upgrade to Canva Pro for free. The Canva Africa community is also open. So there's a link also in the description box below. The name is Benjamin. Ouch. Oh, remember, there is no limit to creativity. And I should see you in the next video. Peace.